Okie dokie, in uh, this video I'm taking another look at my second brain. Um, so the, the Zettelkasten method, but with um, the VS Code extensions for phone. So there's been a recent update in the last uh, 11 days by looks of it here to, uh, to phone and I uh, found the new features and they look pretty cool. So I'm just going to go through demoing them now. So if I pop open VS Code. And uh, this is my second brain with all of my notes in it. So if I just open the side panel here, um, this is all my daily notes. And um, <clears throat> there was a uh, an extension with foam. <laughs> You'd get you still do for markdown links. And uh, as far as I could tell, this was what you used for um, the uh, the nice visualization of uh, how everything was linked together and um, <clears throat> which was done with markdown link show graph and then this would pop open how everything was interconnected for you in your second brain um, or, or note taking so the thing with this it takes a while to load um, but it does eventually and then you see I've still got some stuff around the periphery here which isn't linked up and then I've got anything else which is linked Daily notes, what we've got here, uh, Excel, I'll do Excel stuff, and um, my career. Is that how everything's just linked together? So that's cool. And uh, I'll be enjoying using that for a while. So if you click on one of these out here, it'll take you to that document. So this is my blog redesign, which I've done. Um, but um, I noticed one with phone. So we go back to the update here, added graph. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Let's take a look. So, P home show graph. Sorry, I, apologies. P, it's not P, it's a uh, control shift P or command shift P if you're on uh, Mac. Um, home show graph, and then this thing pops up. So, the reason why I took the other um, graph down was this could have the full screen uh, when it loads eventually. Um, taking this time, there we go. Um, and, and if we load in the phone one afterwards, it, it always shows in like one half of it. And I guess that's how it's meant to work because you're going to have your notes on one side and um, like your, your knowledge graph on the other. But then if you close this, it still just takes up half the page. Um, so that's sort of the reason why. And, and, and you can't sort of expand it out. Let's try this one. That doesn't do anything. So um, that's why I just did it into its own um, tab. So yeah, pretty neat. Um, the only thing I found with this is um, it, it's like the Obsidian one where you can play around with it and you've got these sort of cool um, like motion effects with it and stuff. Um, but you can't just click on stuff like Twitch, this one here. So you have to do control click and it'll take you through to it. So Twitch is just like a label for how um, I take stuff up. And um, now, what's, what's going on now? It's sort of, it's just highlighting the one dot and I can't, there you go, I had to click off of it. Um, but that's neat. Um, much sort of nicer looking. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an option to add labels. Um, I know there was um, an option to do something like that with uh, the markdown links. Let's take a look here. Markdown links, graph type, default. Um, what's the other one here? Obsidian. Ooh, let's try this in. And let's see what this looks like. So this is the phone one. Let's take a look at the markdown links one again. This is the obsidian style. So I'm not sure what that means. Um, I, I quite like it how, how it was. Um, and I think the, just, uh, the existence of that setting there means that I, I tried the other one. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> I tried the other one and didn't like it. So, yeah, this is probably why I've gone back to how it was. This just looks like a mess. Um, it does show you how everything's connected, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, um, that's why that. I mean, I think the default was to have it hit save. I'm going to go back to that graph again to close this. 
Close this and we'll pop it open again. Right there, let's show graph. Takes a while to load. Um, I mean, I guess there is a lot of stuff in there to to um, to parse, but there we go. That, that's that's the sort of one I liked, and um, it's um, it, how I know the the phone one sort of operates as well. But I'm guessing it's like the phone one. It's, it's brought it in a lot of levels um, because it's it doesn't it doesn't look appear to be the same sort of representation here as it is in there. Anyway. I'll stop rambling. Um, there's some other features in Foam which I have uh, been playing about with. Most notably would be the making a daily note. So if I do uh, Control K E to explore, then I have my daily notes for 2020. And then I have today, which is, what is today? Let's check the calendar quickly. It's the 8th. So I haven't got a daily note for today. And then in the settings here, there's these two settings for uh, the daily notes directory, which is this daily notes. And then uh, you can add a title to it. The so mine is uh, daily notes and then uh, the year format, which is the correct date format, by the way. Year, 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 <laughs> year, month, date, um, which is, is correct. <laughs> but uh, if we do control shift P, and uh, note. So if we do phone, phone, open daily note, then it generates uh, a note for today. At the moment, it's just putting it at the root of daily notes. Um, I mean, I could take this a step further. Let's just delete this um, and have the note going into, where is it? Daily notes, 2020, and then 11. Um, I guess that's going to work, right? Open daily note. Yeah, and then it puts it into the month, but then I have to change it setting every month. No biggie, I guess. Um, and then I think the other thing I was playing around with was trying to get my sort of tags in here as well, because I always have resources. Um, and then sort of tag it up with whatever else I, I add to it for today's notes. Um, but apart from that, there is some other stuff in the release notes here, but I've not looked into it a great deal. Like this foam copy of clipboard without back brackets. I, I don't know what that means. Um, I'm not sure what it's copying from where and to. Um, and this added date snippet. I'm, I'm guessing that's what I just um, enacted with the um, uh, with these new settings here. Um, so that there's more information in foam about that, I think. Um, and I think it's on the actual readme. That's what I picked it up from the other day. Um, and when I discovered that nice graph as well, that's oh, not here. Okay. Uh, features maybe? I don't know. I I'm not going to dig around and try and find it for you. Um, but it's definitely in there because it's where I took it from. Um, so, yeah. What do you think? I quite like it. And um, yeah, this definitely wasn't it. I'm pretty sure I didn't get it from there. And sorry for your eyes if you're, um, you use dark mode a lot. Um, so yeah, um, what was I going on about? Yes, the, um, the graph. Um, not daily note. Oh yeah, so if you do that again, uh, open daily note, it's going to open up today's one for you again. Um, so as it how it how it was before. Um, with it just in daily notes, if I moved it, then it, it wouldn't open it up from from there. So just just bear that in mind. But you, you can just uh, use that to go to your daily note as well. Cool. Now I just want to go back to Home Show Graph and uh, just close this side panel here. Maybe. Yeah, you see what I mean with that? I don't know what's going on with this. I think it's just um, just just set on whatever screen layout was there. Sorry, it's pump the mic. Uh, okay, so I quite like this. And then this gives you a good idea of what sort of information is linked. So this here, daily notes. Um, and then um, I've got like a, a daily notes label and a daily notes, um, daily notes MD file, I guess. Uh, so I guess I use daily notes and uh, resources as well. So maybe that's something I need to 
add more into my daily notes. Uh, but yeah, it's good. It gives you a good idea of how uh, data is related. I don't know how to click off this. Well, let's take a while. Um, the, the, this nice sort of whatever it is animation of stuff moving. Um, I think I would like to see labels, um, just so I know what is where, what, what is what is where, what is where. I I, I just want to see labels basically. <laughs> I think labels would look nice. Um, so uh, we could have a quick um, daily note um, graph. See if there's a setting in here for it. Um, daily note file extension. Doesn't appear to be. It doesn't appear to be anything for the graph, but um, I'm guessing there will be in uh, future iterations. But um, that's it. Foam um, keeps on getting more awesome. I've, I've not been following it a great deal, um, but a, it, is, it is a great project and it's good for uh, for note taking and I'd highly recommend it to anyone who is interested in using it so like I said that's it for this one if you enjoy the content and want to see more stuff like this then please remember to subscribe like the video if you like um, uh, subscribers really help me out um, so I do appreciate anyone who subscribes and um, that is it I'll catch you in the next one and thanks bye 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 bye